Watch me fail. We're getting a whole lot of weeds. A lot of weeds. <laughs> <laughs> that was a whole 10 feet. This painting was sent to us from the Flanagan family. It's awesome, thank you so much. It's beautiful work. Showed it to you last night, but in case you guys missed it, hung it up in our bedroom here. Isn't that awesome? I wish I could paint like that. <laughs> here we are. Good morning. On our way to go fishing. We're boating. Perfect day for it. Fish are gonna love this rain. The one day it's been hot all week. Perfect weather. The one day we finally rent a boat and we gotta go do some fishing, some boating. Lo and behold. That's hail. That's hail now. Some big chunks of hail. Not like golf ball size, but big ones. That's okay. Fishies, fishies love rain. So maybe they'll come up to the surface and it'll be an easy easy day. But I don't love rain. Man. My flowers love rain, but yeah, no, I don't love rain. So we rented a boat today. Now we rented a pontoon and we were taking a couple of our friends with us. Uh, the pontoon is in Baudette, Minnesota. So it's about a two hour drive down from uh, where we are in the Steinbeck area. Same distance as going to uh, lakes in around Kenora in Manitoba <coughs> and Minnesota had better prices so better prices better quality boats and life jackets on board yeah everything we need there so it was a much better rental company and uh, yeah, we got it for the day my mom is back at our house watching our son so. I miss him already we didn't even get to say good morning because he's a sleeper so he was still asleep by the time we left but we got our Timmy's so we'll wake ourselves up. I wanted Starbucks, but we had we had gift certificates to Timmy's, so she's a Starbucks. Girl. Yeah, I'm kinda anti Timmy's these days especially. Yeah, well me too actually. They Timmy's has me. really dropped the ball in the last oh. couple of years. Everywhere you go across the country, it is just not anywhere near what it used to be. It's gonna be a great day on the water. We have to yell over the rain. Of course, it couldn't have rained yesterday or tomorrow. It rains on the one day we rent a boat. So we're coming up to the border here with the U.S. I'm not sure what the uh, American side is. The Canadian side is Sprague, Manitoba. I have never crossed here before, so this is something new. I don't think this is, oh, it might be a commercial crossing. I don't know. I'll have to look into it. We stopped at the first gas station we could in the US. It was a holiday gas station. And uh, we're in War Road, Minnesota. And Brett hasn't been to the US in a few years. I go like every week, right? Every couple of days I'm in the US. So as soon as we crossed to the US, she's like, look at these roads. <laughs> like, I know, right? Now you know why I love coming down here so much. Everything's so nice. <laughs> Oh, we love, we love our neighbors and love coming to visit. So this rain is, uh, it's on and off. It's been raining pretty heavy up to the border. We got to the border guard there and we told him, yeah, well, we have a boat rental in Budette, Minnesota. That's where we're going. And he's like, oh, you're going out on the water in this weather? Like, Not in this weather, but I hope it clears up this afternoon. 
we're uh, looking at the weather forecast and it keeps changing. Uh, at first it said it was not gonna rain in Budet today. And then it said, oh yes, it is gonna rain and it's gonna thunder shower until 1 p.m. And then uh, that changed. And now it says, yes, it's thunder showering and raining until 12 p.m. And then it's just partly cloudy all day and a uh, pretty steady temperature. So uh, it should clear up later today. It's it's not exactly the ideal day. It's not the day that we wanted to, like the weather we wanted to have, but at least it won't be too hot, I guess. And I just hope the water isn't choppy. I hope the water's okay. And uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure they have a policy that if the weather is bad today, that they'll uh, give us a credit for another day. We'll probably come back during the week, but then our friends can't come with us, right? So. We'll see what happens. Uh, for now, we're just taking a pit stop here and I'll see you guys when we get to Baudet. Well, it's 11.30. We're here at the boat rental place. The pontoons are just down there. And we have uh, been going through wave after wave after wave of heavy rain. We're between, between them right now. I don't know if you call them waves. I don't know. I don't know. I'm in boating mode. And I'm not on a boat, which is a problem. So, I don't know if we're going to get like a, maybe a 50% discount. Because it's supposed, it still is supposed to clear up. I'm watching the radar. By 1 o'clock, it's supposed to be clear. It's 11.30. We do have to go through about a half hour of uh, orientation and safety training. I got my boater's license yesterday. So, I should be all fresh and up to date on all that. But we have to go through a little... Uh, course with them here obviously a walk over with the boat and all the safety where the life jackets are where the paddles are uh, where the fire extinguishers and all the safety equipment are so I'm hoping that they're gonna come uh, let us do that I see someone walking over there I think he's just going down to fish he doesn't care if it's raining he's going to fish that's a true Minnesotan right there I think we're through it so we're gonna make the most of it. I mean, we came down here with our, our friends and uh, we have the boat till 7.30 tonight, but we can't really stay here that long because we gotta get home and put Theo to bed. Feed the puppies. Feed the puppies, yeah. We got things depending on us. Yep. So it's kind of disappointing. You know, we planned this day like a month ago just to get out on the water. I was hoping to be a hot sunny day. Every day leading up to today, since I've been on holidays has been just hot, yeah. beautiful day. But the one day we want to go out on the water. This. It checks out. Yeah, so. That's how things have been going lately. <laughs> but I do see clear sky coming. So I, th I think we're still gonna get out there. I'll see if we can get somewhat of a discount though, because it's, but it's not that it's their fault either. I don't know if we can. Is that even fair to ask for that though? Because it's not their fault the weather was bad. But if we don't go out at all, we get our money back. Their policy is if the weather's bad, they'll refund us our money or reschedule us. But if we go out for half a day, I mean, you can't hurt to ask, right? What's the worst they can say? No. Well, then it's no, and then we make the most of it. Hmm. We'll get there. Nice hat. Thanks. I'm a mom. Boy mom. Make sure you're a great one. I am the captain. And this is my crew of pirates. Arr, arr, <laughs> so we did get out on the water. Uh, the weather cleared up. This is great. I mean, it's uh, it's actually a pretty it's ideal definitely. day for, for fishing. It's really good. It's, there's a nice little breeze going across the water here, keeping us cool. There's not a direct, uh, you know, we don't got direct sunlight like cooking us to death here and it's a nice temperature. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's supposed to clear up yet. This is my friend, Rick. Hello. His wife, Sabrina. You guys have met them before. Yeppers. Some of our best friends. Mm -hmm. So of course they're here on our fishing boat with us or on our fishing trip, our one day adventure. That turned into a half day. Stupid rain. <laughs> yeah, but we did get out. So this is a uh, 22 foot. And we're just looking at the fish finder here. There is quite a bit going on beneath us. We're at about six and a half to seven foot depth. And uh, you know what? I am 
We're sitting out here getting our fishing rods ready. We're gonna see what we can find. <laughs> That's okay, but there's so much that we can just do. Rick's got first one in the water. Yeah, everyone's a little too slow, you know. Yeah. That's the perks of getting pre-wound line. And yeah. Combos. We bought brand new lines or rods just for this, so we didn't even have time last night to wind up the the line on them. So Sabrina's here uh, putting line on the rod for us, and I was supposed to be doing something right now because she was doing that for me. You're supposed to be putting. Hooks I'm supposed to be putting her hooks on her line, so that I'm not completely how I useless. Done this since I was a little kid. Okay. I'm gonna talk to you guys in a bit when we catch our first one. We're learning. Yeah, learning experience. Watch me fail. We're getting a whole lot of weeds. A whole lot of weeds. <laughs> that was a whole 10 feet. It went there. <laughs> yeah, we went a little too far into the weeds here. We're learning, but this is where the fish are. And the wind's a little strong. Yeah. So we're... Rick's not having any luck over there either. Sabrina knows, so she's not even trying. No. <laughs> just enjoying the sunshine. Absolutely. Now that the sun's finally out. Yeah. Yeah. It comes in in waves, so to speak. Bits and pieces. You catch a weed and you get all excited. And yeah. Just a weed. Especially when it's one of those weeds that pulls a couple times, and yeah. you think it's a fish fighting for a second. It's doing right now. Yeah. yeah it feels like a fish fighting. No, no, no. It's just a weed. So deceiving. Finder says that there's plenty of fish down here. So they're not hungry. No. They're too smart for us. We're learning. Well, the day's over, I think. We'd love to stay longer, but we got responsibilities at home. It's time to start heading home. We already stayed later than we much said later. we would. Alrighty. Because we got such a late start and didn't get much in in the morning, or anything in in the morning. So, it's fun on Lake of the Woods. It sort of motivated us to go and uh, look into our options as well. It'd be nice to have uh, a pontoon in the future. But we'll see what happens. One thing at a time. So, we're going to start heading back and bring the rental back and uh, get all our stuff loaded up. And it's time to go home already. Rick pulling up our anchor, taking half uh, the lake bed with him. <laughs> yeah, that, that anchor dug in pretty good. We weren't going nowhere. But, okay, we got everything all uh, all set, ready to go. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
so this is Rainy River on the American side. It's lodge after lodge after lodge. Here we go. Come on, trucker Josh. I mean, boater Josh. You can do it. Oh, a little shife. Oh. Those cat like reflexes. <laughs> oh, I think I got it. It's coming in a little. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, though. Well, oh, you're blocked from camera. Oh, oh, there she is. So we're on our way back now. About a two hour drive back. Uh, we stayed a little bit longer, like we were saying, but it was, well, we got Worth started it. a little bit longer a little or a little later. bit later. Yeah. It's this nice little community here. There's a whole bunch of uh, resorts and what looked like boat rentals along here. This is the Rainy River. So the other side of the river is Canada. And the river leads right into Lake of the Woods. It's just upstream. So it actually uh, has a nice location. And for the price of the rentals here, it was still much, like, much worth it. Very worth it. Very much worth it. Very much worth it to come here instead of renting on the Canadian side. Just uh, better prices, better equipment. Really nice staff members too. And yeah, really nice staff too. They were very nice. Yeah, it was a good day. Crummy start, but we turned it around. Little pit stop in War Road, Minnesota on the way back. The ladies wanted to stop in and get some uh, plastic spoons and forks, I think. Because believe it or not, you can't get plastic cutlery in Canada anymore. And it's very valuable if you can find it. <laughs> so they're gonna go buy some here. <laughs> looking for plastic cutlery? Well, she is. I'm looking for snacks that I shouldn't buy. <laughs> Everything's bigger and cheaper. And more delicious. And more delicious. Oh. Yeah, the sour cream and onion chips in the U.S. have more flavor than the... But they don't have ketchup. That's true, they don't have ketchup chips. This is like gold to a Canadian. I know, right here. It's such gold. Oh boy. Look, they even have neon! <laughs> <laughs> it's my girl. Oh, I've got you you can always spot the Canadians in American grocery stores. You'll find us in the plastic cutlery aisle. <laughs> Seriously, if you guys are from like the US, Canada banned plastic spoons and forced plastic cutlery, banned plastic straws. We have to use paper straws now. You can't find them anywhere, you can't buy them anywhere. You have to use wooden utensils. That's what they sell in stores now. Not plastic, wooden utensils that like can splinter in your mouth and they taste awful, like popsicle sticks. Yeah. Even the bread tags now on bread bags are, are paper, even though they're in a plastic bag. Look, these are compostable and they're so much nicer than the ones in the city. Yeah. In Starbucks. Yeah. We could get those, but no, we have to have the wooden ones. They want us to feel like we're eating pop to, or, uh, popsicles all the time. What? It, you know what? At least, if things really go south, sour, they're a little more sturdy for ships. <laughs> <laughs> There's an upside. Yes. Because they will potentially now start banning the steel ones because, you know, too dangerous and all. Dangerous, yes. yes. And wait till they realize that wooden utensils are made out of trees. Oh, that's going to be an uproar. Especially bamboo trees. I know. All the Asians that have to go and harvest, harvest. them. Oh, uproar. They'll be banned soon. Yeah. Welcome back to Manitoba. Our son is here, so we had to come back. And our <laughs> dogs. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, if it was possible in a, in a nicer world, we'd probably go through the effort and move down. But our family's all up here too, and this is where our lives are. So mm -hmm. that's good coming back home, but it's definitely exciting going to visit the US. They have better snacks. Better roads. Behold. Yeah. 
She was very excited about the convenience store and grocery store. You guys have so many more options in your oh stores than we do. And there's so much cheaper and more affordable. I would have diabetes if I was American. So <laughs> it's probably a good thing that we stay in Manitoba. It would get bad. <laughs> Well, it looks like Rick and Sabrina got released behind us. We were just waiting to make sure that they were coming. And we I see them. have to call anybody. Yeah, I'm seeing them. They're on the way, so here we go. Well, a lot later than we had anticipated and planned for, but we're back in town. Ready to go home. Sun's going down noticeably earlier already. That's sad. I was wrapping this vlog up a couple of days later, but we made it home safe. And uh, I think we were successful in our plan. The plan was to get Brit on a boat to convince her that we need a boat. It worked. I want a boat. <laughs> but I want to be smart about it and maybe wait till spring. Yeah, we went and uh, took a look, or I went and just took a look at what they had in town here. Uh, and uh, Some great options. Yeah, we're probably looking into getting maybe a pontoon in the future, but it'll probably end up being at least next spring. Hopefully next spring, but we'll see what happens. We had a great day on the lake uh, with Rick and Sabrina, like I was saying. They're some of our best friends, and it was great to share the day with them. Didn't catch anything, no luck fishing, but we only had half a day. The rain kind of spoiled half of it there. Yeah. Hopefully next time we have better luck, but yeah. still had a great time. Maybe the weather saved Sabrina and I, because we had like little, little burns the next day, little sunburns. Yeah, you guys would have been burnt to a crisp. <laughs> we would have been in so much pain. So maybe the weather was working in our favor. Yeah. It's a pretty nice, uh, <coughs> pretty nice mug you got here. You want to yes, share yes, with this? Yes, yes. Yes, yes. pinkies up. Yes. yes. I'm very bougie. I couldn't bring myself to get a 40, 40 ounce. This is just a 30. Can you imagine me with a 40 ounce? I'd just be like holding it with two hands. You'll be like all those memes then. Absolutely. I don't mind. Everyone leaving the house with a bucket and a pool noodle for a straw? Yep. Exactly. I'm a basic mom. I'm used to it. <laughs> what is it with like moms and wives in their 30s and their Stanley mugs? I don't get it just our cup obsessions period my yeah. sister has a thing for starbucks cups she likes collects them if you're married and in your 30s does your wife collect mugs and cups too <laughs> we don't have a lot of hobbies when we have little kids so we collect cups not only that but usually her sister it's usually your sister who buys us mugs too every single time every time for birthday for christmas for just fun for no reason at all we use the mug. We have a new mug. <laughs> we use them all, yeah. There's another one over here, actually, uh, that Brit just got recently as well. Careful. Is this also a Stanley? Why, why should I be? Okay, I don't touch Sorry. it. Don't I have coffee it. in that cup, and it's on the charger. I didn't want you to hit oh, it. Oh, I didn't want to touch your one of your sacred cups this and is get a in trouble. This modern. Very nice. It, too, is a little bit bigger than I expected. So that one's new also, and we also have mine back there, and then a couple more back there. There's not too many. I don't know where the rest of them went, but we got plenty of mugs for just two coffee drinkers in this house. There's just two of us that drink coffee in here. Look at this. It's a little ridiculous. We are set, though. And I just want to point out, for the record, I did not spend our money on this. This was birthday money. This was a gift. So was that one. For those ladies out there who actually know the cost of those Stanleys. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know. Stupid money for a cup. Come on now. Simple Modern's a little more you know, reasonable than Stanley. Come on. Stanley's been around forever. I think my dad had a Stanley, like, when he was a trucker. Well, I guess he is again. When he was a trucker when I was a kid. Pretty sure he had a Stanley thermos. But this one's special because it's super girly. It's pink. Yes, and they take advantage of all the... 30 year old moms out there who all have to have a similar Stanley cup. <laughs> I think it's cool. I think it's a nice looking cup for you. Mm -hmm. It works well and it gets her to drink lots of water, not like you had any problems 
drinking water before. <laughs> it's me that usually doesn't drink enough water, but uh, yeah, she'll go through like what three or four of those a day. Watch water. Uh -huh. That's good for you. <laughs> but anyway, I've got to wrap this up here, and I got to put this together. Thanks for watching, everybody, and thanks for coming along with us on our boating adventure. Uh, maybe we'll rent another boat before we buy one. Probably, I'm thinking. But uh, maybe one day we can uh, maybe trade our camper in, because we don't use our camper that often. But we'll talk about that in future videos. Yeah, who knows what life will throw at us over the winter. Yeah, just, just dreaming right now. We had a, a lot done this week, though. One thing at a time. We'll see you tomorrow.